Welcome to the Phoenix Pro Guide to Aruba Central. In this video, we'll show you how to create a switch stack using Aruba Central. First, you need to ensure that all the switches you'd like stacked are licensed. So, we go to Account Home, click on Subscription Assignment, and make sure all the switches that you're going to use in the stack have an active Aruba Central subscription. Okay, let's go back to Account Home and launch the Network Operations Center. Now we connect the switch that you want to be the stack commander to your network and then power it up. While we're waiting for the switch to boot up and register on Aruba Central, we're going to create a configuration group. To do this, select organization from the main menu and in the groups tab, click on new group. We're going to create a UI group, not a template group. So deselect the checkboxes, give your group a name and make up a password. Note. This password can be used to directly access the switch manually if the need arises. Click on Add Group. Once our switch has booted up, we can add it to the group we've created by dragging and dropping it on the group name. Click Yes to confirm. Now we're ready to start configuring our stack. So, let's change our context from global to the group that we've just created. Select Devices from the main menu. Go to the Switches tab and click on Configuration at the top right. To configure a stack, click on the Stacks tab. Then click on the plus sign to create a new stack. From this dialog, we'll set the stack commander to be the switch we've powered on. Next, we're going to configure our stacking links. We'll name our stacking links and nominate the ports to be used for stacking. Specify the domain ID. We'll choose 10. And in this example, we're going to use 1 gig ports for stacking. Once you're ready, click on Save and Reboot Stack. Wait for about 5 to 10 minutes. In this time, the stacking commander will reboot and will also activate the stacking config. Then refresh your page and you should see that your stack is now active and that your commander has been configured as the first stack member. Now we need to add the remaining two stack members. To do so, under the member section, click on the plus sign. In this example, we're going to use the same model as the commander, which is an 8 port PoE. You can choose a different model as long as it's in the same family. That is to say, you can mix and match different models within the same family. But for our purposes, let's select same model. Next, we'll specify the ports we're going to use for stacking. So for this switch, which is going to be stack member two, we're also going to use ports seven and eight. So it's going to be port two slash seven and port two slash eight as well. Let's specify the last member, stack member three, using ports three slash seven and three slash eight. Click on save. Now we're ready to connect the additional member switches and power them up. So let's connect the member switches as shown and then power them up. The member switches may reboot multiple times before they fully join the stack. Once the stack has been fully formed, the status for all members will change to active and you'll be able to see which is the stack commander, which is the standby commander and all other members of the stack. If you change over to list view, you'll also notice this little stacking icon next to your switch. If you click on the switch itself, you'll be able to see that you're actually managing a stack of switches. We hope you found this video useful. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. For access to more resources, visit phoenixpro.club.